Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and we're out here today to look at what some people have called the finest revolver of the 20th century. This is Colt's Python. This is a 357 Magnum revolver, and it is absolutely the top of the line in terms of fit, finish, and workmanship that the Colt factory could produce. So, we'll tell you a little bit about the gun, and then we'll hit the range. Colt revolvers looked like this one pretty much from 1889 until the 1950s. They had tapered barrels, exposed ejector rods, very narrow hammers, and usually small grips. In 1955, Colt changed that paradigm with their Python design. The Python had a fully lugged barrel with a ventilated rib. It had a shrouded ejector rod, a nice wide target hammer spur. Now, these guns were made from 1955 until 1996. And the Python's design was so popular, it spawned a whole family of snakes at Colt. Guns like the Diamondback Revolver shown here, and the King Cobra and the Anaconda followed. Over time, the popularity of the Python style came to influence the designs of most major revolver makers. And you can see that very clearly in this current Smith & Wesson revolver and in this current Taurus revolver. Well, Evil Roy's causing trouble again. He's 25 yards downrange, and we've got the Python loaded up with 325 grain, 357 magnums. So let's put a smack on him. I'll tell you what, man, after shooting wimpy 38s, this is really a gun. Well, let's see how well I can control these 357 Magnum shooting with just one hand. I'll take that. Well, let's see if I can keep a, a hold of these things firing double action now. Should be good. Well, at least I hit him. Well, let's just have some fun and mix it up a little bit with the Python. I could have done better. Well, let me try a little bit harder. Get those two little guys that I missed. <laughs> That's more like it. Well, let's put the python on some clay birds. See how we do.
Hard to argue with that. Colt Python is chambered in 357 Magnum. It can also fire 38s, but the 357 Magnum is an incredible round. And with all due respect to Elmer Keith and his love of the big 44 Magnum, I've got to say that the 357 Magnum can handle just about any chore, hunting, self-defense, you name it, on this continent, with the exception of maybe the really big bears. So this gun packs a lot of power. Well, let's see what these 357 Magnum hollow points can do to a can of shaving cream. Let's finish up with the bad guy's view of the Colt Python revolver. 